Okay, so here we've got Monty. It's a 1970, um, originally a Westphalia campmobile, um, but as you'll see, it's been extensively um, rest restored. Um, Chianti red, which is beautiful, with cloud white bumpers, wheels, and roof cap. Um, you can see it's got a new um, roof canvas. Pretty much everything is new. A fortune's been spent and beautifully done. What I'm going to do first of all is just take you around um, as I normally do. Um, you can see as I'm going in closely, you've got chrome windscreen wiper arms, which are really lovely. Um, old fashioned raised um, letters on the number plates. So again, really just the detail, like the chrome caps on the bumpers. Um, but if we come back to where we were, having a look underneath the windscreen, you can see the the um, rubbers are all nice and supple. Come around here, all the bright work is beautiful. All the seals have been done. We've got the Westy louvered window there. And then there's a quarter light there in the rear window. If we come round to the back again, you can see nice and supple. And there's his name. Up on the top is the spare wheel, so it doesn't get in the way inside. Uh, again, oh, let's just close the door a minute, just so we can concentrate on the outside. And again, another westy window, and caught the lights in the front cab windows as well. Um, if we come up along the top, so we can whiz around the gutters as we normally do. It's all good. Again, even the seal on the the roof cap there is has been replaced. Um, done a few years ago, but oh, lots and lots of receipts, and it's been cared for so well. Um, if we then come down on the front panel itself, see again the old-fashioned AA badge. You can see beautiful paintwork, and then we'll come round here onto the driver's door. You can see everything is as it should be. No bubbles, corrosion anywhere. Come down along the sill. You can see how, how lovely the paintwork is. Up over the rear wheel arch, there's my little mate Reg, get in the picture. And you can see again how straight that is by the reflection. Um, if we come round to the battery tray levels, it's all good. You can see the stainless pipe under there. Um, and then if we go along the bottom of the engine lid and the bottom of the rear hatch, it's all perfect, no issues. And you'll be able to see probably more in my photographs because um, with the video on, it's, it's not got the light shining. But even the stainless fixings in there, everything's, everything's really lo lovely. We come round onto this side. Again, battery tray level is all good. Got the Volkswagen um, mud flaps. Stock wheels with nice... Um, and correct hubcaps. Uh, you can see, like the seams, everything is as it should be. Again, we'll look over that wheel arch along the sill, along the bottom of the sliding door, and up to the swage line, and then onto the front door there. Again, everything is as it should be. Then, we, if we have a look, in the cab first of all so you can see the door cards everything's done in a sort of caramel um, vinyl which is really nice these seats are Porsche Boxster seats and the passenger one actually um, spins around um, 180 degrees to become part of the camping interior if you like really lovely um, stitched top on the dashboard there and then we've got a modern radio, um, looks like an old fashioned one, but that, that you can connect your phone up to. Um, cool little gear, 
stick topper. And then if you have a look at the Mad Mats um, flooring, they've even put a, a clear plastic thing on there to stop your, your dirty feet getting the spoiling it. Um, little red um, edging to everything. And then the bamboo shelf underneath. Still got the original Westy um, SO67 tag. That would have originally been on the furniture in the rear. Um, but it's been brought through. All the little chrome bits. And then that gorgeous um, wooden steering wheel. It's just everything. is just lovely. Open the sliding door to reveal the van works interior which we've got rece receipts for that i think on memory i haven't got the receipt next to me but i think it was about six grand for the interior which i think included the rock and roll bed uh, at the time as well um you've got the table up the back there there's a couple of accessories in the back which i'll again show in the photographs um but you've got the switch works there um Really nice curtains and then twin gas hob and the sink and obviously those um, tops fold down so you've got your black glass tops. There's the, the fridge and then you've got sort of like a curved cabinet, the silver one, um, which has got shelves in, which is really nice. And you can see the canvas up the top is perfect. Um, the, the owners that have got it... Um, were a, a couple so it they didn't need a bunk in the top um it, it, obviously that's a rock and roll bed there in the bottom um so it's a two seat uh, sorry it's a four seater um and a two sleeper if you like um you could put an awning on the side of it um to give you more sleeping or of course you could um you could reinstate a, a a lot of people put the solid bunk of the late bay which we can buy all the bracketry and everything so you could have a twin bunk up the top and then the twin bed down down the bottom uh, if you wanted to you could also have a an a, across the cab bunk as well um so really nice um camper and um, we're starting, we're, we're putting it on the market at um, 26 and a half, which is really good value um, for the standard that it is. It's just been MOT'd by the way as well and serviced. So it's really ready to go and, uh, and enjoy. Um, don't forget to like our channel or subscribe to our channel and you'll be able to see all of the new ones as they arrive. Thank you.